edit button will appear somewhere else around here. Yeah, so if you can open this, there's some icebreaker questions there you can start talking about. Uh, so, Radovan, what's your favorite fruit? I already put it in there. It's the guava, but I also like watermelon. Mm -hmm. Pineapple, yeah, good idea. I forgot about that. Yeah. How about you? That's a good question. I mean, it depends on what kind of mood I'm in. If I'm in the, I need to keep my hands clean while doing something else mode, it would be a banana because of the built-in handle. But some really good Finnish strawberries or blueberries from out oh, in yeah. the forest can be better. Did you go picking this summer? Oh, <clears throat> some Not blueberries? that much, actually. Actually, no, the big time was last year. Do you have a favorite vegetable? Uh, that's harder. Hmm. I can answer that in, in okay. a second. It's an uh, onion. Mm. Ah, OK. Well, I thought it was a vegetable then. That's... Well, I guess it's a vegetable. I don't know. But uh, of course, I, I don't eat onion just like that. But uh, <laughs> yeah. there's an ingredient to like everything. Yeah. So while we're getting more ready here, there's this last icebreaker question. So if you use Git version control already, what aspect do you find most confusing or surprising? So how would you answer that? You know, I can say that. So these days, I'm pretty comfortable with Git, but it took years. Uh, at the beginning, what I found really confusing was I didn't really understand branches, how they work and where they are. I was really confused about which branches are local, which branches are remote. Mm -hmm. I didn't really see how what I do on my computer connected to something on the internet, GitLab, GitHub. So that confused me at the beginning a lot. Yeah. How about you? What what did you, what did you find most surprising or confusing about version control or Git? Hmm. Let's see. I mean, I would say somehow the. inconsistency of the commands or something like that. So it's a bit mm -hmm. hard since I've been using it. Like I haven't been using it for forever, but I think it's somehow the inconsistency of the commands. Mm -hmm. is, is Git the tool that you use most? Is this your most used tool in your like daily work? Well, I mean, I guess you could say I use the bash shell a lot more, but mm -hmm. I don't think that really counts. Um, I'd say it's probably one of the most used tools. Well, okay, then there's Firefox and stuff like that. But yeah, let's say Git is one of the most, mm -hmm. or maybe Python more. Anyway, mm -hmm. Git's up there in the core stuff that I'm always using. And maybe you can scroll down a little bit. We get really interesting answers on Oh, Git. Okay. And I mean, I I really remember all of these yeah. using branches, conflicts. So we will see that today. Um, being afraid to do something wrong. I really remember that. And that goes for any new tool. And this is something we will try to, to work on today to really get confidence in using this tool. Also confidence in asking questions about it. And also confidence in doing mistakes. We will see that uh, maybe we'll practice that today or tomorrow, that we will learn how to recover from typical mistakes. So mistakes will happen. OK, well, it is now 10 o'clock in my time zone. And should we begin with the introduction? Let's do that. So our go our plan is the first 15, 20 minutes, we will have an introduction, explain <clears throat> how the workshop works, how you can interact, and then we will start with Git and version control. Yeah. So is the introduction supposed to be 10 or 15? 
I think the schedule says 20 minutes. You can scroll down, you will see the schedule. This yes, is also fine. good that we show people so that here you can see roughly what, what to expect. Yeah. We will later also show you where you can find more detailed schedules, yeah. but this is roughly the plan.